Bro, I'm not gonna I'm, lie, bro. If she gets out of this alive, she, her her music career is about to go like this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. All right, so here we have a developing story out of Sacramento, California. We have a missing rapper by the name of Janessa Jones, 22, 165 Janessa pounds, five two, green eyes, and she appears to be of Hispanic or Caucasian descent. Now, based on the story I'm hearing, she was at a club, hanging out, probably okay. networking with people, and a couple of two different guys came up to her, talked to her, and told her that they would give her $500 if she came back to their apartment and performed for them. No, you didn't say yes to this girl. No, you didn't say yes to go to a random. <laughs> but she's a rapper. And I'm not going to lie upon hearing that. I was already sussed out. I was scared. They worked together to get her in the car. Guy in the red offered her 500 to party somewhere else. I would have been skeptical too. Because like, bro, I'm not doing a private performance for you. Even for $500. I just thought I'm like, who's out here just going to be giving anyone a random ass rapper at the club that they just met $500 to come perform for them? Off bad, that already makes no sense at all to me and sounds like a setup to get kidnapped, backdoored, robbed, or held hostage for some type of ransom. Or apparently, killed. as according to this ongoing situation, she proceeded to accept the offer and got in a car with them and ever since that night has not been seen by anybody. Now Damn. everybody, law enforcement, friends and family included, are looking for her to no avail. 22-year-old rapper Janessa Jones also hold on hold on hold on janessa jones what's her rap name last seen on the 12th oh my god known as suga dior like has this. been missing since november Shuga what? 22 year old rapper janessa jones also known as suga dior has been missing since Shuga november 12, dior? 2004 dior? surveillance footage from hyde park lounge in san jose shows her leaving the bar speaking briefly with two men and then getting into a white dodge durango this is the so man in the red shirt allegedly why are they playing this music in the background leave the bar Jones's phone was later found abandoned in a parking lot in Salinas, California. Now, before oh going any further into the story, I just want to say it is 2024 and we all got to move way more smart because mm -hmm. there is no way in hell. I'm a man, but like, why y'all zoom into her eating a pineapple like that? Was this part of a music video? Speaking if a group of women came up to me because I'm just chilling, having a drink. She and seems white. Me they'd pay me $500 if I, I don't see Latina in her. To rap for them or perform or whatever the hell they wanted. That I would ever entertain that. Like, the hairs on the back of my neck would have immediately jumped up. My heart would have started racing, my head would have been on a swivel because i'm immediately thinking i'm about to get robbed. i'm not gonna lie bro if she gets out of this alive she, her her music career is about to go like this <laughs> i'm not gonna lie bro i'm, I'm about to lie. get jumped somebody's trying to back me what the hell is going on these are dangerous times women don't offer men free money for anything who's trying to set me up and in this case she was a rapper at the club at the bar in this footage as we can see there's a man in the red and another dude in the black well as we can see janessa jones right here looking towards the other direction but at the same bar and somehow these these random ass men proposed that they would give her five hundred dollars if they came back home with her to rap for them. Yeah, nah. Something okay, tells me that one. This okay, this is what I'm hoping. I'm hoping she was drunk. I, I, I'm hoping she was. Okay, I'm not saying I'm hoping. <sighs> let me finish this sentence. Okay, let me get it out first. Pause. I'm hoping that she was drunk and her judgment was off because if she would take this deal being fully cognitive there's something wrong that's what i'm trying to say i'm hoping that she was drunk and couldn't make a a like a good judgment call on this and this is why this happened because doing this with a cognizant brain is kind of wild had saying nothing yes to, to do this with offer rapping. this was something else entirely different they were paying wild. for like come on bro the economy's tough times are rough she's an attractive young woman and people got to get bread however the hell they can so it's sad to see that a young woman like this fell for this predatory ass scam and now she could probably be human trafficked well on her way across the border in the bottom of a lake in a suitcase chopped yes. up into bits that's the sad and part bro taken out to be sold on the black market like anything could be possible at this point now according to further details from an article posted by our humanity ca they say in san jose california Authorities are investigating the disappearance of Janessa Jones, 22, who was last seen on November 12th, 2024, at Hyde Park Lounge. Bro, she's been gone for almost 10 days, bro. It's been nine days. 1070 North 4th Street, San Jose, California, oh near the intersection of North 4th Street and East. East Taylor Street. Jones was reported missing by concerned family members after she failed to return home the night of November 11th, 2024. Jones is described as 5'2 tall, weighing 165 pounds, with green eyes and distinctive pink hair. While law enforcement continues their search, reports indicate Her hair potential was pink? involvement I couldn't in tell, adult bro. entertainment. However, there has been no confirmed connection between her Sugar work Dior. and her disappearance so that, at this time. Whatever so just who was as commenting I suspected, before did not have that right. This has nothing to do with rapping. As indicated by this article, 
article, which is a legit news source, a nonprofit out of Cali. They say this may involve adult entertainment, and we all know what that means. I don't means, like how she licks she, her nails, bro. She does that a lot. This has nothing to do with rapping, as indicated by this <laughs> article, which is a legit. I'm not news a fan source, of that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. They say this may involve this adult weird. She's like licking her nails. We all nails. know what that means, unless you want to consider rap adult entertainment, which I know is she really not. It's just a pop culture genre. She licked her nails in the other one. Adult entertainment would involve stripping, being a bottle girl, escort services, exotic dancing, working at brothels, and or providing adult services. All of that? that you have to be 18 and older to receive and my theory is the 500 dollars proposal that night was specifically for a particular service that seemed very tempting enticing she accepted for some reason she thought she could trust these strange men not oh. sure if she knew them or not but as we can see she proceeded to hop in a dodge durango a white truck as seen in these particular photos Yikes, right here bro. we see janessa jones standing next to the white suv in another image we can see she finally got in for right, san jose this is where this is where the dodge durango was parked at it was two people that sat there and they lured they lured sugar in they her boyfriend took to social media because he oh, said shit. he went to the police and the police is basically telling him look it's nothing we can do and he is the one that went to hide lounging her parking lot well hold on, hold on her phone was left in a parking lot an hour away and stayed in that parking lot for three days got this surveillance Wait, so hold on she been gone for nine and it stayed in the parking lot for three days. So where? It's pulled from there. So from where is it now? Did the police Janessa got it? Did text him and say that some guys from that lounge look is nothing. My boyfriend took the oh, social media this. because he says he went to the police, and the police is basically telling him, "Look, it's nothing we can do." That's and so crazy. And he is the one that went to hide lounge and got that surveillance pulled from there. So from what he's saying, Janessa did text him and say that some guys from that lounge was going to pay her five hundred dollars to go to a party. Now she oh, even no. sent him an address. I'm guessing just for safety reasons. And he actually went out to that address and he's saying when he went out there, it was like a family home. It didn't look like somewhere a party would be. So he decided to not knock on the door. Now her phone last pinged at a mall parking lot and it pinged there for three days. And I'm guessing now the Northridge. phone has to be turned off. So y'all, that is all the information mm. that we have at this time. We don't yeah, know she's definitely not giving Spanish. I'm not gonna lie. Janessa. Definitely white girl. What we need to try to figure out is who drives that white Dodge Durango? Where was this so-called party that she was supposed to go to? In this because one, she's giving Spanish, which is kind of crazy. Who has to be in that surveillance? And in some other photos, here are clearer shots of what the make and model of the car actually looks like. Now, this is not the actual suspect's vehicle, but here, right Obviously. here, is the actual type of car that she hopped in. It's a very popular car in the United States, very fast, a lot of horsepower, and a lot of drug dealers. Uh, sex depends on what model you and get. Criminals of all type like these types of vehicles. So the people who kidnapped her, driving they got this particular the type of vehicle that they might not yes. even own, doesn't surprise me at all. Here we have other photos photos of Janessa and how she looks like if anybody recognizes her or have seen her she's currently wearing pink hair be sure to notify local authorities in San Jose California as they are currently investigating the case they also say newly this released nuts, security bro. footage shows a white vehicle parked in a parking lot with its lights on the exact location remains unidentified though it's believed to be near the area where Jones was last seen where the authorities will release the full surveillance video is yet to be determined but OHC news hopes that any additional footage will aid in the search for Jones Anyone with information mm. about Jones' location okay. is encouraged to contact Yo, San Jose is found, Police bro. Department this is crazy. at 408 277 4786 referencing case number 24-319-0143. Also, here I am on our Instagram page, sugardior.tv. Her last post was made on November 6th. Here, as we can see, she was actually a rapper trying to rap out here. He let a fresh tips with the tongue because he nasty too. I get on top, I ride it so he got me dripping juice. Pink faces out it like the dragon fruit. Yeah. Nothing turn me on like a gangster who get money to yeah. Here we have another video she posted about a week ago showing off her lavish taste for luxury items. Let me show you how to glow up your bitch on her birthday, man. It's the realest bitch. Is that her man? man. I'm gonna show you what it looked like. You hear me? When you okay, I can see why the long nails and long eyelashes come from that's her man. Lana and everything she's supposed to have. You know, I ain't no Broken. holiday nigga, but it ain't nothing like your birthday, man. We gonna <laughs> celebrate the day that you was born to the fullest. Who's stepping like this? Oh I'll my wait. gosh, the, the copyright, bro. Game related, man. Fuck with it. It's the mob. Happy birthday, bitch. Big 22. Game related. You know what it what is. is. So I'm not happening. sure if the guy who was speaking who sounded kind of retarded. I don't know, bro. So I'm the kind of <laughs> That's why I said, what is happening, bro? <laughs> Now, hi, who knows if he was sober or not? Was her boyfriend? <laughs> Could have been her sugar daddy, her sponsor. Her... Pimp. I have no idea. Pimp. I don't know the inner workings of this girl's life, who she was involved with, if she was being stalked, why she decided to accept $500 from some random ass men, if she knew those men or not. <laughs>
And after further investigation while I was editing this video, it is confirmed that she is an escort. She is a verified sex worker. And this was likely just a predatory scam that these guys saw online, probably knew who she was and where she frequented and wanted to probably do something dangerous to her for the proposal of $500 of which she fell for. And now, well, she could possibly be dead. It's unfortunate. That's fucking sad, bro. Nah, that's insane, actually. That's insane, actually, bro. What? She is an escort. Oh, no. So maybe she did make that decision with a cognitive, cognizant brain, bro. If she, was she thought, oh, they want to have sex and pay me for the sex because this is like literally I'm an escort. Oh, man. I mean, based on the videos that I'm seeing here, it looks like she had a lot of money. It looks like she was doing well for herself. Not sure if most of her money was coming from rap or other ventures, investments or side gigs. But an interesting side comment gigs. made from you know somebody what you who just posted with. to the seven hours you know what ago said, at, all bro. that shopping but caved for $500. That's disgusting. That's a disgusting comment, bro. All that shopping but caved for $500. Yeah, you're an asshole, bro. She's a she's an escort, so she probably thought it was just another another way to get it. And then the comments below that say, this is exactly what I was saying. It doesn't even sound right if the stable was a stable for real and he's some real IZM. How you let your bottom leave with someone for less than a band? Not even in her own whip. Scream setup. Real 16s and 304s know the game. And for <sighs> That could also be true. Ah, she brought up a great point. I'm glad that comment was there. That was a great point. watching this for the people who have no idea what they're talking about. Just I suspected they're talking about sex work and that's completely fine. I'm not against sex work, but you got to be more careful if you're going to be living in this type of lifestyle in the night. If you're a pro, a professional at 22, you're a young woman, you're getting bread, making thousands every few days. You got to be careful about who you piss off, who you come across, who's trying to propose, what deals Starting you're trying to accept. Starting as a sex and worker and trying to be a rapper. Cautiously. Anyway, though, let me know your thoughts and opinions I mean, get that Hopefully bag, bro. Dior is get that bag, very bro. Soon. And for any other ladies or people participating in this type of lifestyle, just be careful. It's a grimy world we live in and it you is. never know what predators are out there trying to prey on you. That being said, hope this video was informative and until next time, everybody, stay sane out there. Bro, I really hope she's safe, actually. You know, I'm gonna look her up. Let me see. What, what was her name? Janessa Jones? Oh, she's found. She's found. There's no information about her disappe uh, disappearance or how she was found. Nigga, what? Y'all just found this girl and you don't have nothing on how she disappeared? Well, I'm glad she was found. Um, Hopefully she gets out of that, low-key. High-key.